Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, I'm back with another video, and this is to uh, piggyback off of uh, my previous, previous, previous video um, running uh, gaming on my Dell uh, laptop here. And so, we first tried Fortnite, we tri first tried Fortnite, and it didn't end well. And I noticed in the comment section people saying that it ran smoothly on theirs, this and that. But I also noticed that you guys have different models of what I have. So I'm currently rocking the Dell, you know, 3000 series, but it's an AMD with an A6 7th gen. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see the specs there. Let me show you the specs. And that's what I'm rocking right there. So if yours is built, if your build is different, then that's the reason why your gaming is, is running um, better than mine. But um, for the people that do have this laptop or are thinking about getting this budget laptop, this is about $250. I'm not sure if they still have it on Best Buy, but you can probably get it on Amazon for cheaper. So I'm just going to quickly show you um, me running. Uh, this is another game you guys wanted me to try out on this budget laptop, Valorant. So I'm going to quickly go into that. I'm going to show you what this laptop can do. Like I said, I usually just use it for um, mostly, you know, browsing and, you know, creating con a little bit of content here and there, but not for gaming, but for you guys that want something on a budget. So here we go. We have Valorant. I'm going to go ahead and hit play and see what happens. So you guys um, will see, we'll see what I'm seeing in real time. So if it takes 10 minutes, if you see uh, this video take 10 minutes, it's because this laptop sucks. But on a, a serious note, let's go ahead and boot this game up and see what it does. Oh yeah, and this time I'm running on Ethernet. As you can see here, let me go ahead and zoom in. Ethernet and connect it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and play. So as you guys all saw, I hit play. So hopefully it's loading. It's going to be loading anytime soon. I might speed up this video, but for the most part, I want to see you guys um, to go through the journey I'm going through right now. Again, Dell, Dell 3000 series with um, A6 7th Gen AMD. Hopefully it did not crash or anything. Okay, something's coming up. Any minute now. Two thousand years later. This might speed it up a little. Oh, there we go. So we finally reached the uh, the main screen here. Gonna keep this laptop in fairly good condition. Um, I don't really use it much. Like I said, I usually, when I hop on this, is usually for browsing or quickly, you know, researching something. Um, if not, I'm mostly on my iMac, which is from 2011 and it's still running strong, performs well, but I am due for an upgrade. So let's see, it's still loading or doing whatever it is in the background.
And it's still going. Maybe moving the mouse again will speed things up. And there's, like I said, there's nothing really running on here. Um, I don't remember having anything open other than the, you know, the my PC. And that's basically it. Maybe I should up up the RAM on here a little, like maybe from four to four to eight or four to six gigabytes of RAM. It might make a difference. And it's still going. Yeah. So at this point, if you if you want to buy this laptop and you want to install this game, I advise you not to do it. As you can see, it's been three or four minutes now, and it's still on Riot. And I have great internet connection. So if that's the case, I don't know what's going on. Other than again, this laptop really sucks. Okay, there was a connect an error connecting to the platform. Please restart the game plan. Again, a waste of time. Four, three to four minutes sitting here, and it's telling me to quit game, log out, blah blah blah. There's an error. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with my internet. My internet is fine. 200 megabits, uh, megabytes per second down, and about 12 up. So. That shouldn't be an issue connecting to the, the server of the game. So we're going to go try this again. Probably going to have to log in again. So I'm prepare for me to put down this camera to quickly log in if, if I need to. Okay, we have life here. So, yep, I'm gonna have to sign in again. So, hold on. Let me go ahead and put this down. Okay, oh, what's going on? I didn't even hit the play button that time. Just log in, boom, disappear. So whatever the outcome may be, if it doesn't connect again, I quit. That's the end of the video, guys, if that's the case. And yeah, if you're gonna buy this laptop, just buy it for, you know, schoolwork or whatever, no, no gaming. This this shouldn't be in the, in the category whatsoever. You might be able to play Solitaire, or a mind sweep or something like that. So here we go again. Let's see how long this uh, the screen takes this time.
And it's not like it's a, an intensive software or game. Um, you probably can barely hear this, this laptop making any noise. So, I mean, it should be able to handle it, but it just doesn't. Then again, it could be just Windows itself because you know how Windows just likes to be a pain in the butt sometimes. Still connected. I could hear some slight loading going on. Hopefully that's a good sign. Or it could just be some random stuff in the background Windows doing. And there we go again. So yeah guys, uh, I'm giving up right here. Uh, thumbs down to Valorant running on this uh, laptop. Again, if you see my, I'm gonna put the previous video in this one so you can see the results of that. Like I said, it didn't end well. Um, you guys have, I'm pretty sure you have different variants of this laptop. There's no way you have an AMD A6 7th gen running uh, games like Fortnite at 60 frames per second. That's a total, total BS. I'm just saying, if you if you have proof, you know, go ahead and upload your own video, and uh, you know, send it to me or whatever. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, please like this video or give it a thumbs down, whatever. Um, subscribe, and uh, yeah, peace out.